our entrance on the phone. Wait for the Lord, be strong, be stout hearted, and wait for the Lord. In the name of the Father, out of the Son, out of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ and with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to your life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us with prayer, Lord, the perseverance in obeying your will, that in your days the people dedicated to your service may grow in both merit and number. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. From the Mount of the children of Israel set out on the Red Sea Road to bypass the land of Eden. But with their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us out from Egypt to die in this desert, where there is no food or water? We're disgusted with this wretched food. And punishment of the Lord said among the people of Sarah, serpents, which bit the people, so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned and complained against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents away from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and come out of the world. And whoever looks at it after being bitten will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And where's the soil with some? O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come. To you. O Lord, hear my prayer, let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer, let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call, answer me speedily. O Lord, hear my prayer, let my cry come to you. The nation that shall revere your name, O Lord. And all the kings of the earth your glory. Lord, the Lord has revealed Zion and appeared in his glory, for he is regarded in the prayer of the destitute, and another despised in their prayer. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let me cry, let my cry come to you. Let this be written for the generation to come, and let his eternal creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. O Lord, hear my prayer, let my cry come to you. The Lord be with you and with you.
with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. According to you. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am going away and you will look for me, but you will die in your sin. Rabbi, where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, He's not going to kill himself, is he? Because he said, Where I am going, you cannot come. He said to them, You belong to what is below, I belong to what is above. You belong to this world, but I do not belong to this world. That is why I told you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, What I told you from the beginning, I have much to say about you in condemnation. But the one who sent me is true, and what I heard from him, I tell the world. They did not realize that he was speaking to them of the Father. So Jesus said to them, When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am, and that I do nothing on my own, but I say only what a Father taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, because I have always do what is pleasing to him. Because he spoke this way, many came to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So uh, let me first address uh, the certain issue, as you can see, and probably you get used to it, is that we always have the ring with us. But uh, he cannot be with us today. He is fine, okay? But he still needs a lot of our prayers, especially his mom and his siblings. Because he's dealing with, uh, with his mom and her health issues right now, and so it's uh, tough on him. You know, with all the sicknesses and everything, what is happening, there is no uh, regular way to go and visit your parents uh, or in the different uh, facilities. So please pray for him and for his family and for his mom. His health is okay. Okay. Let us start with our first reading. When we think about it, uh, the travel of Israelites, and it's a long 40 years trip, and there's a lot of moments when they complain, when, when they're not really assured of themselves and what is going to happen. They're thirsty, they require water, they complain, where are we going? We're entering the desert, there's nothing. My probably favorite passage about it is when they start to complain about, oh, in Egypt it was so good, we could have our green onions and melons and all those delicious things to eat. They don't want to see what is ahead of them. They grow weary. It's tiresome. It's not that they don't trust Moses. It's just the reality of the day, today, sometimes takes a toll. Sometimes brings fear and panic, like we are here. But it's keep soldiering, the very important. Even if we don't understand it in the first place, where this is leading to us, where does God want us to be? Last week, one of my friends from the previous parish texted me and um, pretty much the question of her son. He's asking me, why does the God is doing that to us right now? Why are we not happy and healthy and everything goes nice? This is the fourth grade. So it's very hard to explain it to him. On the other side, it's very hard to explain it to ourselves. You know, there's always a line in church answers, oh, you know, you recognize it all the time. But it wasn't the 
part of the God's plan to eat the bat? Was the part of God's plan that we were distributing bat to each other? Or is it just a different kind of occurrence? That we can grow wary of it. That we have something to look up to. The whole conversation between Jesus and the Pharisees and others will witness me. No matter what he says, they always will be good. He speaks in metaphors, he speaks plainly. They don't want to listen. Or I am going. You cannot come. They take it totally differently. It's not him who's going to commit suicide, but them who are going to put him on a cross. With their stubbornness of doing what they want. And how? And when? Did he grow weary of them? He was a son of God. He died on this cross also for them. We don't look today at the raised servant. I look at the raised cross and Christ in him and think and pray to him and trust him that that will end, that it will go on and we'll show we can be together. lift our hearts and minds to God as we present our petitions. That the church may continue to be purified and sanctified for the grace and mercy of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear yeah. our prayer. Yeah. That national and international leaders may be empowered by the Holy Spirit in serving the people as Christ came to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, Lord, our, hear our prayer. prayer. That those who have turned from God may receive from Him the grace of conversion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Lord, pray. That this Lenten season may be a time of growing in the gifts of God has given us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That all the health care providers, all those who are working essential jobs, all those who are helping us in this time, will be gifted by God with wisdom and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our Lord, prayer. prayer. That all who have died may be united with Christ in heaven. And in this mess, in a special way, we pray for Mike and Jess and Richard Cuffel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord God, hear and graciously accept the prayers we offer to you. We ask this from Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Most are you, Lord, our whole creation, for free goodness we have received the bread we offer you from the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed be God forever. Show you, Lord God of all creation, for for your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the wine that will give you in the heavens, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and for all His holy church. We offer you, Lord, a sacrifice of consolation, that being moved to compassion, you may be of pardon of our offenses and direct our wavering hearts for Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and Amen. with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received to confess the infinite power of your majesty. This is why the wondrous power of the cross, the judgment of the world is now revealed, and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we do give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed the Holy Lord, the fount of all holiness. May call therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a new so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Solomon was sent, he took the chance and once forgiving things. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and run from it, for this is the chance of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by our cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into water by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church by the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Daniel, our Bishop, Richard, our Apostolic Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, Mike and Richard, and all those who have fallen as hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them interrupt the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the blessed Joseph, your spouse, the blessed apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you for all the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, O my Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, of glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At a Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed. 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracious you have peace in our days, by the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent your apostles, peace and I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious you have your peace and unity in accordance with your will. Live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the love of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless are those who call to the Son of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be as separated from you. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O my God, that ever seeking what is divine, we may always be worthy to approach this heavenly gifts for Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And we want to bless you, the Father and the 
Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Say, so Michael, dear angel, the fellows of God, be our protection against the wickedness of the snares of the devil. May God rebuke you when you humbly pray. And to thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, for us in the hell of Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking your souls. <laughs>